Hello, good evening, dear friends. So we are here at this holy hill and near to the chapel of Saint Anthony. And today is the feast of Saint Anthony. Happy feast of Saint Anthony to you all. So I'll be narrating uh, in short about the history of this chapel. So what you are seeing here is the Royal Chapel of Saint Anthony. So why it is called as Royal Chapel is that Saint Anthony was considered as the is considered as the patron saint of the army of Portugal. So he is the commander of the army, the heavenly commander and the intercessor. So the Saint Anthony is the one who protected the armies. So in that way that Saint Anthony is also known as the royal saint. So you can see here the inscription written over here, Saint Anthony Chapel. You can see Saint Anthony Chapel. It is located in Old Goa. So what is the significance of this uh, chapel? If you see nearby to that is the St. Augustine's Tower, you can see St. Augustine's Tower is close by. But what is the significance of the St. Anthony's <coughs> Chapel? If you see, uh, this, this, this hill, this chapel is located at a hill. This chapel is located at a hill and this hill is known as Holy Hill or Monte Santo. So this was the hill in which Alfonso de Albuquerque, the conqueror of Goa, Alfonso de Albuquerque, when he conquered Goa in the year 1510, he was keeping his armies. He kept a portion of his army here before his entry into the city on the occasion of his final conquest. So this has got a great significant historical, historically significant because Afonso de Albuquerque had stationed a part of his army over here. So in other ways how this could have been very much important. So this was uninhabited till 1526 when, uh, when a certain person namely Pedro de Faria, ex-captain of Malacca had purchased this hill after he built a built his private residence behind this place it is so after that he had given given this whole hill for the construction of many of the private buildings so many of the private buildings and of them uh, came many buildings in 1543 nearby to this that side you have got uh, if you behind this there is uh, the convent uh, this uh, uh, this church of our lady of rosary which was the parish church over here which this mark this holy hill itself was a parish church and uh, this uh, this chapel was constructed also in the year 1543 around 1543 to 15 44 was this uh, uh, chapel of Saint Anthony was constructed. So this church or the chapel of Saint Anthony is lying south of Nosa Senora the Rosary as I have said and very close to close to is like you know the Augustine's Tower you can see very close to that is the Saint Augustine's Tower. So this uh, Saint Anthony, uh, Saint Anthony what is the importance? The Portuguese held this chapel in great veneration as it was dedicated to their national saint. Saint Anthony was regarded as the captain of the army and as such his salary was drawn by the chaplain in addition to his pay. Addition to his pay uh, which amounted nearly lira about some nine, nine liras. So that was given as the, chap, uh, as the salary for uh, the saint himself. So it was administered by the chapter of the cathedral but in 1606, the management passed by the orders of the Archbishop Dom Frey Alessio de Menezes into the hands of the Augustinian fathers. So you can see here this uh, uh, eagle symbol, like you know, uh, this uh, th this could be also again symbol of uh, the Augustinian fathers, this eagle kind of uh, uh, creature. But uh, soon after the suppression of the religious orders, it was closed. It was closed. Uh, and abandoned the building however still exists and during 1850s it was in the charge of superior of the convent of saint francis but now you can you can see here it is a holy family novitiate now nuns of the holy family has occupied here and in front of that you can see here uh, the founder of the congregation of the holy family father faustino di Zosa. his uh, bust is kept over here so this chapel of saint anthony is uh, is here so what is the significance of this chapel in a very much spiritual way so spiritually if you see the pope had granted special indulgences for this chapel 
see indulgence is anything which uh, any act or like you know, any anything which uh, with relates with the remission of our sins plenary indulgence is uh, is uh, the complete remission of our sins so pope alexander the 8th uh, has stated he has given a uh, plenary indulgence uh, plenary indulgence to this chapel saying that whomever who visits this chapel on the feast day of the saint will be given a plenary indulgence and thank god today by the grace of god and of the intercession of saint anthony i was able to visit here and i also pray for you and i am praying for you may god bless you all now with full devotion we will go for a small procession from this bust from this bust till uh, uh, till the gate of the chapel we will be going the main entrance of the chapel will be going in a small procession and from there we will say a prayer to saint anthony saint anthony pray for us worker of miracles pray for us one who heals our diseases pray for us son of saint francis of assisi pray for us one of the greatest saints in the history of the church pray for us our miraculous protector pray for us one who preached gospel even to the fishes pray for us hammer of the heretics pray for us so you can see in the side saint antonio chapel is mentioned here saint anthony's chapel so now we will say the prayer to saint anthony from here almighty ever living god you gave saint anthony of padua to your people as a preacher of great power and a patron in their needs grant that with his help we may follow the christian way of life and feel your aid in all our trials we may co prayer through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of god the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen let us bless the lord thanks be to god dear friends thank you very much you can have a look of the of the chapel how magnificent and wonderful it was made constructed around some 1543 and you had prayed along with me uh, in this plenary indulgence uh, at this grace of moment at this moment of grace at this chapel of saint anthony may god bless you all may the good lord through the intercession of saint anthony of padua and all his saints bless you all may god bless you all we'll be again meeting with a new video with a prayer for prayer with with lot of prayers exploring the spirituality of old goa may god bless you all happy feast of saint anthony to once again to all of you god bless you amen